Hi, I'm Julia Cooper from Newcastle University, and uh, we're here today at the Organic Producers Conference in Birmingham, and uh, we're going to present some preliminary results from the Tillman Org project in a workshop for uh, farmers and advisors attending the conference. So we'll have three speakers. Paul Mader from FIBO will introduce the Tillman Org project, and then Marianne Casagrande and Josephine Penier from Isara in France will present the results of their farmer survey about problems and motivations of farmers using reduced tillage and green manures. So we carried out a survey in uh, 10 countries, uh, partners from the Tillman Org project. We got information from 159 farmers uh, that were located all over Europe and those farmers were sharing the same motivations for applying reduced tillage, no tillage and green manure. Those motivations were really oriented towards uh, soil preservation, soil conservation. They wanted to improve soil structure, soil organic matter, limiting soil erosion and improve soil biological quality. So this workshop is a great opportunity for us to really showcase what we found in the Tillman Org project to farmers and get their uh, feedback and get an idea of what their experiences are and what some of their questions are about the project. Richard Gantlett, I farm in Wiltshire in uh, southwest England and we are farming mostly cereals and we have a pedigree Aberdeen Angus suckler herd. We sold our plough in uh, by 2004 I think and we just cultivate, we, we work at two depths shallow just a few inches and also uh, about 40 centimeters as well to open up the soil so the air can get back in and uh, it's very positive our soil is becoming much easier more friable to work motivation really was I never liked the idea of playing of burying the the biology that you have in the soil that you develop over time um, just didn't seem the, the right process. Um, if you're going to develop good biology in the soil, it seems right to leave it where it is and let it develop. And on the other end, when applying those new techniques, they were facing agronomic problems, mainly for limiting weeds because they had a problem with weed infestation, and they were also facing problem uh, for destroying the preceding crop when they wanted to sow the main crop or for um, destroying green manures that were previously on the field. I'm, I'm Peter Brown from Tablehurst Farm, which is a biodynamic farm in Sussex. Well, we bought one of the eco dins about three, four years ago. Since when we've been using minimum tillage and we sold our plough. Weeds, we've always had a problem with weeds. We've been organic for a long time and uh, so the weed problem is no worse than it was before. We have weed challenges but they're not the ones I imagined. When I gave up playing I, met, I was really uh, concerned about cooch and docks and, and actually those are two pl plants that we really don't have a concern about. Um, we have annual weeds and wild oats are certainly a, a concern but we seem to be getting those more under control now. Um, through various different management strategies. Um, other weeds, charlock, uh, we have, but so do people who plough. But I think one of the issues on, in Britain is the, the damper climate. And, um, and in Britain, we're typical in that we have grass lays, and those lays, get to, to break them up, we've been doing it with a minimum tillage, but uh, this couple of well, we've also been trying with ploughing, and that is a difficult bit. So just to get to plough a pasture under, particularly where it's an older pasture, we've, um, we have used the plough, not the minimum tillage. The, the Tillman Org project looks very interesting. Um, I've read a paper very recently which is suggesting that one of the things we need to address if you repeatedly min till is that your phosphates perhaps end up in the top of the soil and therefore perhaps aren't as available to the roots which are going down deeper. I wish the government, bless them, or all the research organisations were spending much, much more money on the work going on in the soil where 50% of a crop's output is determined. The uh, Tillman Org uh, session was, was interesting. Um, I think for a lot of farmers it's, it's where we need to be going and looking less at ploughing and more at non-inversion systems um, in order to try and improve yields. Soil health I think needs to improve so 
uh, non-inversion tillage is a way of achieving that. Mintil's in its infancy in the UK, um, but there are some people who are dedicated and trying to improve the systems. So we've been really trying to identify uh, some of the problems associated with using reduced tillage and green manures on organic farms, but also finding uh, some systems that are effective and successful. So trying to figure out why, in some cases, these systems can work on organic farms. Yes, well I think the Tillman Org um, presentation is really good and what is really good is that it is looking at different situations within Europe.